Now, before I begin, I am not sure when this video is going to come out. However, I would like to say my condolences to the lives lost in the Belgrade school shooting. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with all of those who were affected. Back in late January, I made the first part of the video where I basically covered all the Bosnian youngsters who are split nationality, meaning they can play for Bosnia and a different nation altogether. Uh, the video did fairly well and a lot of people have actually requested a part 2 and there are a lot of players, so I believe that a part 2 is necessary. So today I've got 8 players for you who, you know, fit the bill of having split nationality and being fairly young. Listen, there are some exceptions. And we do have some honorable mentions. Now, most of these have been just straight up I'll be honest, they've been straight up stolen from the comment section. Sorry, not sorry. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it with a bit of a wildcard pick straight up stolen from the comment section. Alyosha Vasic. I said that correctly, Jesus. Uh, off topic, I recently got absolutely digged into because I didn't say Zagreb correctly. I can say Zagreb, but I'm, I'm speaking in English for the entirety of the sentence, so to say Zagreb it's a lot easier just to say Zagreb, um, just to fit in. I really, uh, I re that really had me um, very much questioning my ability as a Balkaner. Anyways, that really offended me, so I just had to uh, stop at that. Anyways, back to my boy, Alyosha Vasic. Uh, he is a 21-year-old football player who plays for Serie C club Padova. The boy was actually born in Italy, however, does have a Bosnian citizenship because his parents are from Bosnia. He is six foot two. Don't know why that's an important stat. And as of now, he's got over 30 appearances in the league with six goals and two assists to his name. Obviously, uh, in my humble opinion, he is far from fit for the senior squad. However, he is fairly young, and I believe that he may have a decent chance to feature in the future should he choose Bosnia. He probably will, because let's be honest, he doesn't really have a chance with Italy, does he now? Moving over to Semir Talalovic, who has caught my eye because fairly recently-ish, he has made his debut in the Bundesliga von Borussia Mönchengladbach. He came out as a substitute, and from what I know, he hasn't made an appearance since. But he was there, so, you know, I, I put him on the list. The man has been all over Germany ever since his birth, get it, because switching clock. Anyways, he was born in Germany, however, he is of Bosnian descent if the name wasn't a dead giveaway, so he could choose both. Well, he can only choose one, but he can choose between the both. This is really half-assed. Now, this man has very little play at times, so, uh, finding info was very difficult. And trust me, I tried, but if you believe you can do better than me, which I'm honestly not doubting you, you can go and check everything out for yourself, but this is all I've got for you. Uh, will he make an appearance for the team? Probably not, but can he? Yes. Philip Chuic. Now, our boy Philip here is a striker who was actually born in Split, so obviously eligible for Croatia, but is also eligible for Bosnia and Herzegovina. He is actually represented Bosnia's under 21s on multiple occasions, and at club level, he currently plays for Slovenian club Radomlje, but is on loan from Hajduk Split. Now, his stats aren't amazing this season, he only has two goals and one assist in 20 games, but the potential is there as he is only 20 years old, so there is time for him to shine. Benjamin Besic. Benjamin here plays for Strasbourg's B team at the time of recording this, and with 4 goals and 15 appearances as a winger, he's not doing too bad. He was born in France, Colmar to be specific, but also has a Bosnian citizenship. Just like Philip, he is 20 years of age and does not represent any youth team on an international level. Yet. This one I am especially proud of, as no one actually mentioned this guy in the comments. Um, yeah, I, I, we're really digging deep here. Who will he represent? I mean, he'll either represent no one or Bosnia because I'm he's gonna need to make a big step up in his career to even get a call up from France. Benjamin Kikanovic. Yes, another Benjamin. There's a lot of these guys floating about and I am aware of it. For this one, we are moving to North America and I am completely unaware of that. I didn't really do much research outside of Europe, which I might be considered lazy, but I just don't like the way that the MLS or just football in North America works in general. However, a lot of our guys are playing there, potentially our guys, so I mean it's only right if I cover them. 
This man plays for San Jose in the MLS as a left winger who has also played striker at many points. He was born in California, so he's eligible for the US, but if his name wasn't another dead giveaway, he is originally from Bosnia Herzegovina. This MLS season, which starts from January, he has only got 9 appearances. However, that number will rise. Although he is a little older than most guys on this list besides, you know, Kalalovic at 23 years of age. Do I think this guy's gonna make it in the national team? Uh, I don't know, but I think... I mean, it's, he, he's, it's worth having a look at, surely. Esmir Bayraktarevic. This guy, low-key e-baller, not gonna lie. And he would have completely slipped my notice if it wasn't for you commenting about him. He has only just turned 18 in March, plays in the MLS for New England Revolution, and he was born in Wisconsin, so eligible for the US, and obviously for Bosnia as well. As of now, he's only got 4 appearances for the team, but is very young and clearly full of potential. He is a right winger who also plays as a striker. Uh, from what I know, he plays in that like MLS uh, reserve league, uh, which is just kind of like for the players that aren't quite good enough for their uh, official like senior squads. So there's that. You make it that what you will. Our last MLS guy here, Selmir Mischic. Uh, the MLS is really carrying this video. Anyways, Selmir was born in Vermont, USA, but obviously his family is Bosnian, so he is eligible for both nations. Right now, he plays for Portland Timbers second team, and in the reserve MLS league, has one goal in four appearances. His main position is as an attacking midfielder, and he is only 20 years old, so all of his stats might have not looked that great. He's got time to improve in that field. And on the field in general, again, because of Muharem Huskovic, this guy is one of my favorites and thank god we're back in Europe. I'm kind of embarrassed and disappointed in myself for not mentioning this guy before, because I knew of him and I just forgot because I'm a dumbass. Anyways, he plays for Austria Vienna, he's eligible for Austria Croatia, and potentially Bosnia. Now here's what I mean by that. I don't think, and I'm going off of what I found, he does not have a Bosnian citizenship, However, his parents are from Bosnia, so, you know, you make of that what you will. He is another 20-year-old player here, and he is a striker. And personally, I think he's the best player that you'll find on this list, as of now. He only has 8 appearances this season, bagging 1 goal and getting 3 assists in those 8 appearances. But he did have a really nasty injury at the start of the season, I believe, so that's why he got such few appearances. I really don't think it's due to lack of ability. And now you've got plenty of other honorable mentions here. People like Elde Lolic, who is a goalkeeper, eligible for both Bosnia and France. Barashanovic, who plays for Sarajevo, eligible for Bosnia and Croatia. Regic, who is eligible for Hungary and Bosnia. Tatic, Netherlands and Bosnia. Sabanjevic, US and Bosnia. You've got tons of these guys all over the gaff. Now, this would be where I end the video. However, I have actually tested your patience, as today I'm going to give you an update on the last video who has officially picked Bosnia, some of them even may have stepped pitch as a Bosnian national team player, and who is yet to do that. Benjamin Tahirovic has, of course, 100% confirmed himself as the Bosnian, as a Bosnian player. He has made his debut against Iceland and has also played against Slovakia, so two caps under his belt right away. Uh, two very impressive ones, may I add. Just has had overall a, an amazing performance, I'm not gonna lie. And this one was huge, and I said it back then as well, Then he's arguably the best player here. Adis Jasic has confirmed that he will be playing for Bosnia over, I believe, Instagram. And also, same thing goes for Said Hamilic, although there was some drama. Would he, will he, will, will he, will he not? He did celebrate the French Cup with a Bosnian flag on his shoulders, so I think it's safe to say he's going to be playing for us sometime soon. As for Hussein Basic, um, that's still up in the air. And I'll be honest, I don't think he's going to be here, or at least not because he wants to, maybe because he has to, but definitely not by his own choice. Dead honest, he just doesn't look like he wants to play for us. Um, I, I mean, it hurts me because he's clearly very good, but he, he doesn't seem to be up for it. Also, I am, like I said, even more confident that Armin Didovic is totally so far gone. But yeah, um, I'm, I hope you're kept up now with everything that's been going on. I'm very happy with the way things have been unfolding, especially with the fact that we've managed to bag Adis Jasic. I really didn't think we'd be able to, so when he just randomly out of nowhere said, hey, by the way, I'm in for this bitch, I'm, I was just so happy. Hopefully, I can keep out pushing these videos more consistently. Uh, I'm saying this so you can hold me accountable, especially in the summer. 
please do berate me if I, you know, don't. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Maybe, probably, yeah.